Sydney McLaughlin Lavrone has lived her life in the spotlight, shattering records and winning hearts with her fierce dedication and incredible speed. Yet, behind her celebrated career, rumors have always swirled. Questions about her relationships, the pressures of her intense training, and whispers of burnout. Now, at 25, she's finally stepping forward to address the truth, offering a rare glimpse into the reality of her journey. But what has she been holding back all this time? A perfect lane draw for Sydney because we know that she is going to get out hard and her chief competitors are in front of her. So she's going to want to cover them early. And a cockerel also off to a... For athletes like Sydney McLaughlin Lavrone, fame isn't just about medals and records. It also brings a unique set of challenges, especially with the endless spotlight of public and media scrutiny. As she achieved one incredible milestone after another, rumors began swirling about her personal life, her intense training regimen, and what the future might hold for her career. Some speculated about her relationships and whether she had personal struggles hidden behind her athletic success. Others wondered about her stamina. Could she keep up with the relentless pace or would burnout catch up to her? These whispers grew louder with each record broken, feeding a media frenzy eager to dissect her every move. Sydney, like many young stars, became a subject of fascination and curiosity. People often forget that these athletes, beyond their remarkable achievements, are just human beings navigating life under intense pressure. The constant rumors could easily impact anyone's mental well-being, adding another layer of pressure on top of the physical and mental demands of her sport. Athletes are expected to be strong and resilient, but dealing with an endless cycle of speculation can be exhausting. For the two greatest of all time, McLaughlin Lavrone up on bowl at the moment. Good running on the outside. Sydney's story begins like that of many young athletes, but with unique challenges that only add to her resilience. Growing up in Dunellen, New Jersey, she was surrounded by a family passionate about sports, with her father, Willie McLaughlin, having been an Olympic trialist in the 400 meters. This connection laid a solid foundation and it wasn't long before Sydney's natural athleticism began to shine. By the time she reached high school, her speed and precision on the track were unmistakable. Coaches and peers alike recognized her potential, and she quickly became a young athlete to watch. Her journey wasn't without challenges, though. Balancing her rapid rise in track with the everyday life of a teenager wasn't easy. As her training intensified, so did the sacrifices. She missed out on typical teenage experiences, dedicating countless hours to perfecting her craft. For Sydney, this meant trading late nights out with friends for early morning practices and managing the pressure of competitions that would make or break her career. But even with the challenges, Sydney never lost sight of her passion and drive, pushing herself to new heights with every race. Does finish strongly, McLaughlin, but she's leaving herself with a lot of work to do here. Dalila Mohammed had the fastest time in the first round and in the semi-finals, and she's storming away. In her high school years, she shattered records, leaving little doubt that she was bound for greatness. At just 16, she qualified for the U.S. Olympic team, making her the youngest track and field athlete to compete at the Rio 2016 Olympics. Her journey from a local track enthusiast to an international sensation was swift, intense, and life-changing. Every success brought her closer to her dream, but it also brought more eyes, more pressure, and more expectations. Sydney's path to fame was paved with both triumphs and sacrifices, setting the stage for the incredible journey that lay ahead. Sydney McLaughlin Lavrone's career is nothing short of phenomenal. She has broken records, won world titles, and captured the hearts of fans worldwide. Her defining moment came in the Tokyo 2020 Olympics, where she shattered her world record in the 400-meter hurdles, finishing in 51.46 seconds. This performance made her a legend, solidifying her place among the all-time greats in track and field. Every victory brought her closer to the title of one of the best, and with each win, she seemed unstoppable blazing a trail that young athletes worldwide aspired to follow. However, with each record came more public interest. People wanted to know everything about her, the secrets to her success, her personal life, and her thoughts on future competitions. 
The curiosity was natural. She was performing at a level few could even imagine. Rumors emerged, suggesting she might soon step away from the sport or that she was on the verge of burning out. Others speculated about her training methods, suggesting that they might be too intense or that she was risking her long-term health for short-term glory. Such rumors created an almost cinematic narrative around her, turning Sydney into a character people felt they knew and had a stake in. Sydney McLaughlin Lavrone, known for her fierce dedication on the track, recently made headlines by addressing some persistent rumors that have followed her for years. Fans and media alike had been speculating about her personal life, her relationships, and even the intense training that got her to the top. Sydney decided to step forward to clear the air motivated by a desire to take control of her story. For an athlete as young as Sydney, facing rumors and public expectations while managing a high-stakes career isn't easy. But she showed resilience by tackling the gossip head-on. By addressing these whispers, she hoped to put an end to the distractions and allow herself to focus on what she loves most, competing. One area she opened up about was her relationships, including her marriage to NFL player Andre Lavrone Jr. The public often had plenty to say about her love life, with fans wondering how she balanced such a high-profile relationship alongside her athletic career. Sydney expressed that, like anyone else, she and Andre work hard to keep their bond strong, and their relationship provides her with support and stability, not distraction. Her candid words reminded everyone that even top athletes need love and grounding, and that her personal life is something she deeply values. Sydney also discussed the intense training and physical strain she endures. Track and field requires her to push her body to its limits, and while the results are rewarding, the journey is far from easy. Rumors had circulated that the pressure of training was taking a toll, possibly leading her to consider stepping away from the sport. Addressing this, she admitted the physical toll is real, but clarified that she remains committed to her goals. Her passion for the sport keeps her going, even on the toughest days. On mental health, Sydney shared that managing the spotlight and expectations is a continuous journey. Balancing fame and focus isn't a simple task, but she's learned to navigate it, taking time for herself when needed, and setting boundaries with her public image. Through this conversation, Sydney gave a glimpse of her perspective on fame and expectations. She's grateful for the platform her success has given her, but values her right to privacy and mental peace. Her decision to address the rumors wasn't just about clearing the air, it was about reinforcing her boundaries, showing that, like anyone, she deserves control over her narrative. In doing so, Sydney provided a powerful message that behind every record and achievement is a person with real struggles and real strength. Bronze medalist repeating her bronze from the 2020 games in Tokyo with a time of 52.15 from the Netherlands, Femke Boll. In professional sports, the pressure to be perfect can be overwhelming, and athletes like Sydney McLaughlin Lavrone know this all too well. The demands are unrelenting for athletes at her level with the expectation to perform flawlessly in every competition. This constant pressure to achieve peak performance can be both a motivator and a source of intense stress. The quest for perfection often pushes athletes toward physical and mental burnout, a reality that has become all too common in recent years. For Sydney, maintaining her top spot has required physical grit and mental resilience, but it's also brought moments where she's had to face her limits and manage the weight of expectations. Sydney's journey isn't unique. It reflects a broader trend in sports where unrealistic expectations are often placed on athletes. Fans and media frequently hold athletes to near impossible standards, expecting them to deliver extraordinary results without acknowledging the toll it takes. The intense training, scrutiny, and media attention can make athletes feel like they're not allowed to have an off day Sydney's experience mirrors many others who are pushed to the edge in pursuit of greatness. This reality has become increasingly visible as more athletes openly discuss the pressures they face and the toll they take on their mental well-being. Throughout her career, Sydney has had moments when she stepped back, showing the world that even the strongest competitors need time to recharge. 
whether due to injuries, personal reasons, or simply needing a mental break. She's shown that pausing doesn't make her any less dedicated. These moments of stepping back have allowed her to return with renewed focus, reinforcing that athletes are human beings with limits. Sydney's openness about her struggles helps to challenge the stigma around mental health and break down the myth that athletes are invulnerable. So, what are your thoughts on this? Let us know in the comments below.